this is a bit of a taboo topic that many parents don't like bringing up and it's getting mad or angry at our own children. Is that okay? In short, yes, everyone gets angry, but it's what we do about it that's important. In this video, I go over three little tips and tricks that I learned that helps us parents deal with this emotion. It's a bit unfair that as parents, we're kind of expected to know how to raise a child or deal with them, when at some point we're all just first time parents. And they definitely don't come with a manual. Chances are many of us have no idea how to handle some of these stressful situations beyond what we see on television. And we probably know by now that television isn't exactly the best way to learn, at least not from those random shows and movies. So it's quite understandable that we get mad at our child for doing something we think they're not supposed to do. The tips I go over are not only going to help you deal with your frustration, but also show your child how they can manage their anger too. The first tip is just to acknowledge the emotion. In our mind, we can just think to ourselves like, I'm so angry right now, I'm ready to just throw in a towel and walk away and send them to the grandparents. The reason we want to do this is because we don't want the feelings to bottle up inside. It's a way to release those feelings. And of course, all these uncensored thoughts are only to take place in our mind as it wouldn't be very appropriate to voice these uncensored thoughts. This brings us to number two, voicing our feelings to our children. But of course, in an appropriate and respectful manner. Something simple like, I'm feeling upset right now, please give me a moment. When you express your feelings to your child this way, it will let them know that this is the proper way to share their feelings. In turn, when they get upset, they'll know that this is the better way to share their feelings instead of throwing a tantrum. Keep in mind that this is gonna be a long process and it's not overnight. I also want to add, by no means are you trying to guilt or accuse your child. For example, don't say something like, see how you make me feel or you see how angry you get me. You don't want to attack your child as this doesn't help anyone. And the third thing is figuring out what got us so upset in the first place. From personal experience, it's usually the inability to get our child to do something such as brushing teeth, eating, or stop them from doing something like playing with their food or bothering someone. Once we figure out the reason, we have to ask ourselves if we were justified in asking our child to do this. Basically try to see the situation from your child's point of view. Let me give you an example of what I mean by this. My son recently hasn't been very cooperative when it comes to brushing his teeth. He refuses to let me brush his teeth, which is a bit frustrating. While it is very normal and common knowledge for an adult to know that brushing teeth is important and necessary, However, at 23 months old, my son has no idea that he needs to brush his teeth. To him, it's a bit invasive and uncomfortable to have a toothbrush move around his mouth. Try to come up with creative ways to have your child go along with what you want them to do. I try different things from singing to making sound effects, which makes the brushing process a bit more fun for my son. Another example is that if we find that our child is constantly splashing water everywhere on purpose when washing their hands or doing anything with water related, it could mean that they're in a phase where they're interested in playing with water. We could do more water activities with them so that when it does come time to wash their hands, they're no longer experimenting to see what happens. I highly recommend you look into what schemas are and spot the patterns to figure out what activities to introduce to your child. Let me know down below in the comment section what your little one does that gets you angry and if one of these tips is going to make that situation a bit better. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Montessori inspired content and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you next time.